This is Trump announcing the end of the Iran deal. He has dry mouth and they put just embarrassing, like these people, their version of pulling out of a extraordinary diplomatic success and plunging the world into a potentially catastrophic situation is to pretend that they're living in a Tom Clancy uh, movie. Check this out. The Iran deal is defective at its core. If we do nothing, we know exactly what will happen. In just a short period of time, the world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapon. At the heart of the Iran deal was a giant fiction that a murderous regime desired only a peaceful nuclear energy program. Therefore, I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear <laughs> deal. We will not allow a regime to chance death to America to gain access to the most deadly <laughs> weapons on Earth. The United States no longer makes empty threats. When I make promises, I keep them. Uh, looking at Trump's face makes me want to chant death to America. And <laughs> in addition to that, that, of course, is a l filled with lies. Um, again, the IEA certified Iranian cooperation throughout every part of this cycle. The United States, uh, under uh, the Obama administration, under Rex Tillerson, recertified Iran as part of an every three-month certification process, which has nothing to do with the deal. It was a side uh, a deal for Congress in an attempt to have a tantrum about it every couple of months and make Obama presumably look bad, and they thought Hillary Clinton. Now, going back historically, I don't take anything the Iranian leadership says at face value. I don't take any leadership at face value. But the Ayatollah banned uh, the Shah's regime with support from the United States was very close to acquisition of a nuclear weapon. The Iranian nuclear weapons, a uh, nuclear research program goes back before the Islamic Republic. The Ayatollah dismantled the research and suggested that a bomb was un-Islamic. Rafsanjani, an Iranian president in the 1980s, told the Ayatollah, we need to restart this program and pursue nuclear weapons because Saddam Hussein was using chemical weapons against them in the Iran-Iraq war. Not only was there no international sanctions against Iraq, the United States and France and Germany were selling Iraq weapons. I actually believe, I think the Soviet Union may have been at certain times as well. I think all five permanent members of the UN Security Council, at the very least, did nothing, and a majority of them uh, sold weapons and coordinated with the Iraqis while they used chemical weapons in the Iran-Iraq war. And there have been consistent Iranian diplomatic outreach with regards to a nuclear agreement every single step of the way. And if ever there was a case for them acquiring that deterrent, it would be this reckless, stupid, disgusting move.